so yes. Uh, thank you. Um, so yesterday, we what we were about to con um conclude the class in terms of the scripts that we were designing. So um, yesterday we started writing the test cases about blue sky. So we went through the whole scenario of how um, blue sky, from blue sky, how to navigate. What is our major feature that we want to test? It was, we wanted to write a script on the sign up. So we all went through the journey together. So I would go back to, please, anytime you don't see my screen, please just let me know so that I can just um, change and um, navigate back to whatever we are doing. <clears throat> so in this time, Sorry, Yemi, I just wanted to say that you keep using test script and test cases interchangeably, and it's kind of confusing me. Okay. I don't know. If, yeah. So the script, script, test script, I explained to you what a test script is yesterday. A script is the major page that you're saying. When it comes, when you are writing, um, when you design your test cases, put your test condition in, when you've executed your expected and actual results and you have everything, you've done the implementation and you've executed it, it's then a script. Now we are writing the test cases and we are also going to execute it just to make sure we have a full script. I'm using it interchangeably because most of the time, even at your workplace, that's the way it's going to be used. But I've tried to let you understand that test cases, test scripts, they are two, they are, they are two separate things, but it's one document. The big document is test script, which I explained yesterday. That test script is majorly you have ex done your expected, you've written your test condition, your test steps and description, you've um um, done the expected re um, result, you've done the actual result, you've put the status, you've completed it, you've executed it. That is a script, it is a full script. So you finished all that event. So that means it's a test script. But in a, in a case where you are designing that test case, so we are starting with preparation. We have not executed. I, do, I don't know what the, ex, expect, the actual is. So I've still just written the expected from the requirement I have. So my, my actual and my status are still coming after I finish writing my expected. So I will be using it interchangeably. I cannot say, because now I'm going to write a script. That is what I'm expecting to do now. I write a script. The next thing, I mean, I'm going. It's, I mean, I'll write a test case, and the next thing I'll do, I will make sure it turns to a script. So most of the time, at your various workplaces, can we have your script, even if it's not executed? So that's what, that. But it's always good to understand it. That's you know, I told you, it's always good to understand it the way we use all these words. It, it, it depends on how people use it. some, and um, the same thing is going to happen to test plan and test strategy when we do it today. So, um, I hope you understand that, please. So, now blue sky, um, blue sky. Citadel.com. So predominantly, this is what we were doing yesterday. We looked at it. Our major goal is for us to go to, um, when I click on apply for internship, so that page should pop up and I can be able to sign up. And we looked at how to, I'll click on the sign up button. So when I click on sign up, it takes me to, to this page and I'm able to write my um, sign up. 
So I enter my username, my email, my password, password again and register. So that's that's um, our expectation. So once you do this and you sign up, then you should be able to register. That's the thing I want to, uh, we are about to test here. So let's follow the same format with our script. So in our script here, we have said we put a valid, is valid sign up that we want to do. So we'll go to this URL, which is the one we have clicked on. We'll navigate to um, the courses. From not courses, we select apply for internship. After we select apply for internship, what is our expectation? Internship landing page is displayed. Then we click on sign up. When we click on sign up, sign up page is displayed. Then we enter our username. At this stage, in this test step, I will explain some things later. So uh, I'll enter my username as Yemi. I'll enter the email. I'll enter the password. Username entered, email entered, password entered, password again entered. Then I will click on the register button. Ah. Then user is able to register. That is my expectation. Yeah, okay. So when we do that, this is a test case. So everything you're seeing here from who has asked me is a test case. Is the other steps that we are following. Now, I want to change this to make sure that I have a full script. I have a test script. Now I need to execute the actual result and also state my status to ensure that the script, these test cases are, I've implemented them. I now need to do the execution phase. So you as a tester in your team now, you have not seen um, the application that they are developing. You have only written this. So the day the developer gives you the link to say, start testing. When you start testing, you, start, you first perform your smoke test just to see that that link is not crashing by being able to access the link. When you finish the smoke test, then you want to start executing your script. So now everything you want to start executing, you start reading each of these steps. Look through, look through each of the steps. So the first one is this, you put the previously is because I know this URL, but you now, your, my expectation and your is for you that when the developer gives you the URL, you will now update the URL here to suit the URL the, the developer use gave you. That's why test script, we need, when you are executing, you update along, alongside. Because maybe when the developer gives you the link now, navigate to course, it might not be courses that will be there. Maybe it might change to something else. So I need to use the exact field that I am saying or the exact field in the requirement. So those are the types of checks, the types of validation you need to look at when you are, when you are writing or testing the test cases you have designed. So now my actual is that we have the system now. So I will go to it. So I said, go to blueskycitadel.com and um, Blue Sky Citadel homepage is the split. So I'm going to navigate back. So if I go back, of course, you know, I'm coming from Blue Sky Citadel. So this is Blue Sky Citadel. So this is the homepage is when I typed in the URL, it gave me this. So the next thing is, um, what is my expectation? What is the actual thing? The actual is this thing that I am seeing now. I am working according to what is happening. The actual. So yes, really, I can see it. So yes, you can just say here. Yeah, it's even uh, like I don't really like working as expected, but you can just say Blue Sky Citadel homepage is displayed. Just say. 
should and is displayed. So that's the expectation. So here, yeah, expected should be displayed. Then in this one, you can just copy the same thing from here and say, Blue Sky Citadel homepage is is displayed. So what is the status is pass. So now the next step we said is that navigate to courses. So I will go here back to my navigate to courses. So uh-huh. So when I navigate to courses, it says go back to my script, navigate to courses, drop down displayed. So what is my what is my actual result here? Yes, I will say drop down should be displayed. So here I will just do the same thing. Please don't always always type it so that you don't don't make it easier. So drop down drop down is displayed. So I said select apply for internship. So when I select apply for intern internship landing page should be displayed. So internship landing page should be displayed. So, so I'll go back here. I'll go to course. I'll select internship. Um, apply for internship. So internship home page is is displayed. So a landing page. So I put it there. What is my status here? Pass pass. Then the next step is I click on sign up, which I did. Click on sign up. So my expectation is that sign up page is displayed, should be displayed. So the next thing is that should be displayed. So the next thing I'll put here is that Copy it, sign up page is displayed. Is displayed, pass or fail, pass. So the same thing I'll do till I finish the execution. So let's believe that I've executed everything. and all have passed. So all have passed now. So now it means I now have a test script. This is the meaning of a test script. But I still try to let you know that you might get to 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 your workplace, your workstation. Someone will tell you, your manager can ask you, please, can you start designing your test script? Can you start writing your test script? In a nutshell, it's still you designing the test cases, but the full meaning of it is what I've explained to you. Test cases are the steps. The script is after execution and implementation when you have your pass or fail status. Just understand it that way so that when you are asked in an interview, you can explain the difference between both of them. This is how to design a script. Now, I can take a further way. This is the happy scenario. All good, fine, fine. So the next step, I, can, I want to do now is, I want to take the next, um, 
the next one, which is, which I'm going to say, um, um, that's number two test scenario. So, but this time around, my number two test scenario will be invalid sign up. So what it means is that I want to ensure that I'm doing both positive and negative scenario. So do the same, please and please don't always type it, always type it. Reason is that when you type, when you type it often, it makes you remember and understand what you're doing. So when you get to that stage, when you need to do it, then you can. So it's either way. I can do invalid scenario to now say, I've done everything. I have logged in. I've gone to this. I've clicked on internship. I click on sign up. I can put um, incorrect. I can say enter invalid invalid username as zero 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 username should be entered so so the same thing so once I do it so invalid invalid user name sign up so as i've told you initially if you look at the test condition this first one says with valid sign up so is the happy part now i've now said invalid username is my scenario so when people look when i when you pick up the scripts you know that where you are targeting now is the username. You want to use various scenarios for the username. So that's one that you have done for the username. So your, your expectation will be you write it and you execute it and you tell us the results. So at the end of this, when you click the submit button, you should, user should not, they should not, not they should not be able not be able to register. So an error message should pop up. So we are expecting error message is displayed. So if you know the if you know the error message, if not, make it gen just make it um, generic so that we will know that in case you want to reuse it. And if you have the name, we can put it or you can remove it. So this is a scenario. I could go further down to say, I want to do the next test I want to perform is to perform um, a third session to say, I can say the next scenario I want to perform is invalid email, email invalid email sign up. So you know that what I'm trying to execute is all this. And please note, all these things I'm using, enter username as um, password as you may, enter password again, test. All these are called test data. In some scripts, you can add test data column. So instead of writing it here, you only write a step and you put test data. So we will know that this is the test data to use. I've done an eye level script. So my expectation and my assignment to you is that for each of your team, you have to design a manual test script. Now, make it a test case for now because you don't, I'm believing, which that is my expectation that you don't have 
the application given to you yet. Correct. So if you don't have it, design your test cases. Now, don't follow what I have done. And you can also use my own, you can use my format. But there are beautiful ways to write test cases. If I'm designing this at the top here, I'm still going to write. I'm just, I'm not meant to, I'm not meant to say it now because I want you to research. Like me, I will, I can do a lot of, let me insert, insert, insert. Yeah, I would have just put name. I can put name, so, or the author of it, or better still, in the first page of it, it depends on how you write it. There are various formats you can write it. Like for login alone, login scenario, I can make it this sheet, I can change the name and change it as login or instead of login is a sign up, sign up, sign up. So we know that all the script for sign up is in this tab. Then I open the next tab. Maybe the next tab, what I want to do in this next tab is, um, is um, logging. Then I take the script of logging. I can do, I'm only saying, but you might choose not to put, you might want to put everything here. I do the same way too. It's fantastic, but make sure I understand and is visible. So it depends. Don't use this logic. Use the one that you're comfortable with. But you can see now, I want beautiful test scripts. Name of author, dates, um, additional comments. You will see beautiful things. So that is going to be your assignment. Now, taking you further. This is how to write a standard manual high level script. So my question to you is that if you go for an interview, if you go for an interview and you're given a piece of paper to quickly design a script to say login or sign up, those are the easiest things we always give because we believe that you understand it or they give you a requirement, just tell you, they can just tell you, write a script for me. Please just do it eye level the way I've given you. But if you are at all now told that put had other fields, then you can add test data, you can add the test environment, you can add things into it. I'm not going to, but I want you to research and put that. So this is how to write a manual script. I'm going to take your questions at the end. So with this now, I can do a lot of positive negative scenarios. So this is the happy part and this is the negative part. So now that takes me to the next thing I want to, I want us to do. So we are going to go to automation class. You are going to do automation. So for you to do the automation, you will need, you will need um, to write your, your test cases. So this same test case that you have written, you can write it in the BDD format. What is BDD? Behavioral driven development. So it's majorly writing it in that way, using the given when then scenario. So if you are using the given when then scenario, because in this, I, I think in this internship, is it C sharp or Java you're learning in this internship? Can someone let me know? C sharp. Okay, C sharp. C -sharp. So the guy that is going to, the libraries that you're going to use to be able to write your BDD will be Specflow and is going to be the one to give you that Gherkin syntax format. So before I would do, I would just introduce it to you, how to write that script, given, when, then. In your class, they will put it, you will be explained they will explain it to you in details. So reason that I'm giving you this is that after you have designed my own script like this, you would do the same thing. So you can write your script in that given when then syntax. So 
When you just want to automate, you just copy it and put it in Visual Studio where you're going to start automating. Then you can link your step definitions to each of your code. That is the way you bind it. So how do we do it? And I'm going to finish that class. So I just took gift treat as my own center. So instead of that, let's just take this one. It's a valid scenario. So in that case, I come here to tell you So here, the first thing is that it asks you scenario. What is our scenario? Sign up. <clears throat> Fantastic, thank you. So our scenario here is sign up. Sign up. So that's the scenario. So that's our scenario here. Shouldn't, be, shouldn't it be the valid sign up? Fantastic. But you'll be taught something there. Um, sorry. Um, control Z. Mm, what? Okay, I wanted to put the boundary. So, thank you. Valid sign up. But don't worry, you'll understand. So, the same way. In this one, I told you we are going to be using these three words, given, when, then. You can see the first, sorry, given, the first letter here must be capital. It must be capital, given, when, then. So given is like, these are the things, this is what, this is the start of what I want to do. This is how, this is the things that I have. This is um, the website, that is what I've been given. When, these are the action that I'm going to perform. So my action can have several um, conjunctions in terms of and, and, and because I have various things. Then, then, the then, the then is my expected. So what is the outcome, my expected result? So let's iterate and bring this into here. So given, so here now, I change it. Given, given I am, given I am, On Blue Sky Citadel website, that is it. If you're on the website and and I navigate to course, and I select apply for in, in internship, what is the action here? What do you want to do now? When you apply, you've selected, then you use your when I click the sign up button. When I click the sign up button, And, and I enter the username and I enter the password and I enter the password, um, the email, the password and 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 I enter the um, password again. Now you'll be wondering, and I click, and I click, 
the register button. What is my expectation? Then I should be able to register. Then I should be able to register. So all this is another way to write your script. I need to bold everything for just the, all these ones that I've used. So this is how to write a given when then scenario. So if for instance, I should be able to register and I should see the landing page and you can't write the end, but always remember it's just three. The given when then is what you can see in you can't you can't have several given except you use you'll be taught how to use background but have it uh, giving you a scratch on just how to write the bdd this is called the gekin syntax gekin syntax and this is how you are going to write for your automation you can see is the same script that i brought from sign up I converted to this. Before I continue to our today's class, if you've got any question, I won't take too long because I'm still going to give you a question at the end so that I want to stop this class, then we can start today's class. Any question, I'll give you time. Please, that's when. Yes, please, my darling. Yes. Yeah, so we can put that when anywhere. Correct. Because, because what I uh, learned from uh, my uh, people, they said that the when should be like uh, when is getting to then. So now yes. you are now saying that when can be anywhere apart from the first line or the last mm -hmm. line. So when okay. can be anywhere? Is that what you are saying now? Yes, it can be anywhere because you know the reason is that this okay. when is yeah. an action word. So now you said when you when when I click the sign up button, yeah. when you click the sign up button, what other things are you going to do? So you can you 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 can use and and you can now say when I click the register button then do you understand okay, so yeah. it can be anywhere okay. but it's an action it's an action you understand just yeah. make sure that it's an action that you want to do okay. that's the way it is so it can be anywhere it can state whatever action you want to take yeah. that's the way. thank you very much so, can i just come in there quickly so what from what i understood is that it can be anywhere, but it cannot be before the given and it cannot be after the then. Yes, you're right. You're right. That is, that is why I put, you see that I put the three of them in the way. So given is always the first. When, then, it's a syntax. It's, it's, it's something that will follow. It's something that will follow. So it cannot, as you have said, you are very correct. It cannot be before the given and it cannot be at the den, after the den. Given, I said, is the things that you've been given, the data, things that you want to do. The when is the action things that you're going to do. When I click, when I submit, what do I want to see? So I can end up saying, because I've been using my and, and I can put my and, and some write it everything in capital. So it depends and given and when, when I click the register button, then I should be able to register. Then you can say what your expectation is. That is how to write a given when there's syntax. So, any so, other? Let me just yes, go. please. So, yeah. can the manual? Can we? Can we ever write a manual test case in the Gherkin format, or is it strictly for automation? They will. Who who is who is speaking? Please, it's Rose. Rose, yes. fantastic. You can write it in this format. I do it in this format. 
Some might in your organization, you might be requested to write it in this format. So if it is, it's now your call. Say for instance, if um if you are the tester there, it's your call. If you are the only one there, if you are to want to choose it. For business, the reason we do this Gherkin syntax is because you are you are the middleman between the tech team and the users. So what do I mean? You know, we have business users, the people that are going to use this application. They don't understand the code, code, code thing that everything. So what you have done here is that you have brought, you are the middle person here. You have put it in a layman language where they can understand. So now this person will know that, oh, what Rose is trying to gain here is that she wants to do a valid sign up. Fantastic. But in the code, it's a valid sign up they've been coding for, but nobody can read the code. They can read the code. They don't want to see the code. But now this is giving you them an understanding that this is what this particular piece of code is going to work on. So that you are this PDD stands as the behavior of it. You are still going to move into TDD. So that will be the test driven development, more of on the unit and coding level. That is it. So to answer your question, you can also write it on a manual level. That's it. So that takes us to the end of this class.